What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have my Survivor Series 2017 predictions and I am super excited for this card. You know it went from zero to hero. There are a lot of match changes and card changes on this thing and I think that they did a terrific job amping it up and making it feel like it was a big four pay-per-view. You know they did a lot of things to set up this matchup. You know we had invasions. We had all sorts of stuff that led to this and I think that they have done an excellent job building it. We have things on the line we got Kurt Angle's job on the line in the main event. We have SmackDown versus Raw. I wish they would bring back that video game series. But seriously, this card has literally went from looking like crap to looking like it's actually going to be worth a dang. And I am super excited for it. We have NXT TakeOver on Saturday. And then, of course, Survivor Series on Sunday night. And I am just, I cannot tell you how much I am excited for it. We have one of my favorites of all time, Triple H, making his in-ring return. And then we have my favorite of all time, John Cena, returning once again. And I am just so excited for it. I cannot wait. So let's go ahead and get into the first matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, starting off with the pre-show, we have the Cruiserweight Championship match between Enzo Amore and Kalisto. While I do love Kalisto and I do love Enzo Amore's mic work, I think that these two need to end this feud already. I think that Enzo Amore will be retaining the championship here. I don't think it would make sense to take the title off of him right here. I would love to see an interference by the man that Gravity forgot. I know that it is... Uh, rumored that he has been talking with Vince McMahon and he is making his way back to WWE. So if Neville made a return, I think that would be absolutely amazing. I love Neville so much and I would just love to see him interfere in this matchup and take back his title, which is rightfully his. But you know, it is what it is if he doesn't, but I'm going to go ahead and go with Enzo Amore to retain. Up next, we have a champion versus champion match between the Intercontinental Champion Miz taking on the Trash United States Champion Trash Corbin right here. And I got to say that this is my least favorite wrestlers going head-to-head -head right here. I think that The Miz is a much better actor, entertainer, and wrestler than Baron Corbin. I just do not like Baron Corbin's character. Um, he's decent in the ring. He's awful on the mic, and I just cannot believe a word he says. He's not believable at all. But uh, this matchup is probably the most unpredictable on the night, and that is because I don't know which way they're going to go. You have two heels going back and forth, and I feel like the crowd's going to be on Miz's side, which makes me think that they're going to give the win to Baron Corbin. But I'm going to go with the Miz picking up the win because of the Miz Taraj and shenanigans. Up next, we have one of two epic tag team matches on the card, and this is the Shield Reunion Finally, I know we saw it on Monday Night Raw, but this is their full pay-per-view reunion right here, taking on the New Day, and I think that this match is going to be epic. I think it'll be back and forth, just like New Day and Usos, just like um, The Bar and The Shield going head-to-head. -head. I think that this is going to be one of those tag team matches that's just like freaking awesome. So I am very much looking forward to this matchup. I think The Shield do get the win here. I think that if The Shield lose here, the whole reunion angle was just awful, and I think the reunion angle so far has been pretty terrible, in my opinion, with all that's happened. It's not completely their fault. You know, with uh, Roman getting sick and everything, it sort of threw a wrench in the plans. But absolutely, this match should be epic, but I'm going with The Shield to get the win. Up next, we have a champion versus champion match. We have the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Charlotte, taking on the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. And I think that Charlotte will be picking up the win here. You know, she just won the title from Natalya, and I think she needs this win. These two are the first ever Raw and SmackDown Live Women's Champions, so this should be an epic matchup. We have my favorite women's wrestler, Alexa Bliss. Um, I think that she, I think she's very underrated. I think a lot of people give her crap for her in-ring talent, but I think that uh, her in-ring talent is okay when you compare it to her mic skills. I think if you're absolutely awful on the mic, nobody can believe anything you say. Nobody can believe anything you do in the ring. So that is where I stand on that. But I think that Charlotte will be picking up the win here in a very good matchup. I think that they will give these ladies a little bit of time, and I think that SmackDown Live comes out on top. Up next, we have another champion versus champion matchup, and that is the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions Usos taking on the Raw Tag Team Champions The Bar, or Shazaro as I like to call them. But I think this match is going to be just like Shield and New Day. I think that these two are going to be back and forth just killing each other. I think that this matchup will be epic. This should just be a great showdown. Um, I think that the bar will come out on top. You know, they did just win the championships. I could see the Usos winning somehow, but I'm going to go with the bar. I think they need it for momentum purposes. And I got to say that 
I think the tag team divisions on both shows have just been killing it lately. Between The Bar, The Usos, The New Day, and The Shield, I think they have literally carried the tag team division on their back here. Even Gable and uh, Shelton Benjamin have just been killing it lately, and this is just great tag team wrestling, so I expect nothing less from this match. Up next, we have the women's traditional Survivor Series 5-on-5 five -five matchup between Team SmackDown, which is composed of Becky Lynch, Carmella, Naomi, Tamina, and a unknown competitor versus Team Raw, which is composed of Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, Asuka, Sasha Banks, and Bayley. And I think this match should be pretty freaking sick. I think that Paige will be SmackDown Live's fifth member. I think that would be great. I hope it's not Natalia. As great as Natalia is, I think it would just be epic to have Paige finally return to WWE. She has been so missed. She used to be my favorite uh, competitor on the roster, but now she will return. Hopefully, I think that would be incredible. I think it's obvious that you got to go with Asuka and Team Raw winning right here. Just because I like, even if Asuka eliminates all five ladies on SmackDown Live, it's just the way it has to be. Uh, you got to keep Asuka looking dominant. I think that Emma got way too much offense in at TLC, so I think they need to solidify Asuka as a dominant threat. So definitely have Team Raw pick up the win with Asuka carrying the load. Up next, we have a Clash of Titans match right here between the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar taking on the phenomenal WWE Champion AJ Styles. And I think that this is a fantasy and dream match for a lot of people. I think that this match should be great. I hope the, they give these guys enough time. I hope that they pull off some pretty cool spots. Hopefully... Uh, AJ Styles is using his creative uh, mind right here and can do some cool counter moves to uh, counter Brock Lesnar's strength and athleticism. That way, that when Finn Balor takes on Brock Lesnar, it's not it's much more believable. I hope that they uh, take that into account. Probably not though. But I am going to go with the Universal Champion. Uh, to beat AJ Styles here. We may even see an interference from the modern day Maharaja. I could definitely see that happening. Um, you know, keeping AJ looking strong without getting pinned by Brock. Even though it is Brock, I could definitely see them getting Jinder Mahal involved. Hopefully not. I hope they keep him away so we can let these two guys go at it in an epic battle. But I'm going with Brock Lesnar to win. And ladies and gentlemen, for our main event, we have the traditional Survivor Series 5v5 match between Team Raw and Team SmackDown. Team Raw is composed of Samoan Joseph, Finn Balor, the monster among men, Braun Strowman, one of my favorites of all time, Kurt Angle, another one of my favorites of all time, Triple H versus Team SmackDown, which is composed of Shane McMahon, my favorite of all time, John Cena, my second favorite of all time, Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Bobby Roode, which I do not have a figure of just yet, but a few things I want to cover before we get into this matchup. Kurt Angle at TLC came out in that stupid shield gear, and I swear to Jesus, if they do that again, I'm going to lose my mind. Hopefully, we get a Kurt Angle in his singlet, and I want him to wrestle the way he used to wrestle. I know I may be fantasizing a little bit, but I really want him to see him in singlet, going ham, ripping his straps off, putting kids in the ankle lock, making kids tap out. He looked pretty good in the TLC match towards the end. But at the beginning, I was just so let down by him wearing that shield gear. I thought that was absolutely retarded. I hope that he comes out in singlet looking great and just killing kids. That's the first point I want to make. The second point I want to make is if you're wondering why John Cena is wearing this lime green hat and armbands, that is not because I don't have an updated John Cena. That is because I wanted to make it look like his new gear that just was posted on WWE Shop. It is lime green and purple, and that is the closest we have so far before I get it custom made. So now that we have pointed out two things that don't matter at all, I want to get into this matchup. We have Team Raw, and I think that they are going to pick up the wind here. You know, you had Jason Jordan get replaced by Triple H, and I thought that that was very, very awesome. I'm super sad to see Triple H return, especially in place of Jason Jordan, who really is just great in the ring, but his character, nobody gives a crap about his character, and it's just a sad situation. But Triple H replacing him definitely saved this matchup. I think that Team Raw will pick up the win, and I think that that's going to happen in a 45-60 to 60 minute Slaughterhouse match. And I think that Randy Orton and or Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens will cost Team SmackDown Live, and I don't know what that's going to lead to. Hopefully it'll lead to Triple H and Kurt Angle going head-to-head -head at WrestleMania. Maybe Shane McMahon getting involved. Maybe even a triple threat match. But I am definitely going with Team Raw to pick up the win after a heel turn or just 
some shenanigans that leads to uh, SmackDown Live losing. So that is my prediction for this match. I think it's going to be epic, a lot of great spots, a lot of epic moments. Very much looking forward to this match. I think it will steal the show for sure. But that's going to do it for my uh, predictions, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below what your predictions are for the pay-per-view. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.